to this win now. Dallas Cowboys, Madden 22 franchise getting into week 13, taking on a 4-7 and seven Saints team. I know they're 4-7, but they're talented. They have a, you know, look at Alvin Kamara's numbers. 15 touchdowns, over 1,100 yards, averaging 6 per carry. Man, we're going to definitely have to shut him down, no doubt about it, because coming up the next few weeks is going to be all division games. So this is a huge game on the road. As we're talking to C.D. Lamb here, so Mark Cooper took over the last game. Are you ready to see me go off like that today? Do we challenge him or do we praise him? Interesting. So this is a new scenario I haven't seen. Really haven't seen many scenarios here as a coach. I just haven't seen a lot. I think we're going to praise him. He's had a fantastic season. No reason to go crazy. So potential to talent to take over the game. Just a matter of time being on top of your game for all four quarters. Now, is this a, a, a possible... Upgrade, or I have to see what this really is. He's ready for a huge day, and he's had a huge season. He has put up some really good numbers here in his second season. So Amari Cooper has earned 2,500 XP for inspiring a teammate. And if we get C.D. Lamb at 150 yards against the Saints, I'm guessing... I don't think it's an upgrade. It's not a dev upgrade, but bonus goal. Touchdowns for, Horn, for him will give him a bonus reward. So that is an interesting one. I've not seen that yet. That is cool to see. I hope they have different different scenarios like that the whole, whole entire season. And really add them in. Just add in different scenarios. We saw that one last week. Commit, uh, what was it, one or a few more turnovers. But that's a cool scenario. It's not a dev upgrade for CD Lamb. But man, let's try to get him 150. Get him maybe a couple touchdowns and see what happens. As for practice, we're going to start to split with backups for sure we got to keep everybody healthy game plan for Kamara that's easy and I think game plan for the the blitz Cam Jordan he can just ruin your game so no doubt about it there I think those are easy ones offense same thing we're just going to split snaps in practice we don't want any injuries we want to keep the uh you know everybody healthy we we'll make sure you know the uh, stamina is good to go for everybody as we're winding down here on the season the last few weeks is obviously right now it's looking like we're going to get into the playoffs i know it's a little bit too early right now but still the way we are going we are playing fantastic we won four in a row looks like nobody is hurt on the defense that is good to go fatigue zero pretty much for everybody and as for offense you can see Kamar Cooper actually gained some fatigue. The only one that uh, got plus one is Hyatt and Collins. Collins is hurt anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But there you go. So Amari Cooper with that 2,500 XP gets an upgrade. That is awesome. He's up to a 95 overall with plus one morale. We'll continue with the deep threat. So plus three winners, change of direction one, deep route two, and release one. So Amari Cooper continues to improve and hopefully even get CD Lamb up there. As here we go into New Orleans. And a Thursday night primetime game. Obviously, last week it was the Thanksgiving Day game. So, to give you a break, you get another full week, play this Thursday game, and then we get a full, what, 10 days off before we play the next game. That is awesome. But here we go. Can we continue this win streak, make it five in a row, beat this New Orleans Saints team? Obviously different. No Drew Brees anymore. And famous Jameis, he is your starter. No Taysom Hill. He is not. They have not started Taysom Hill. They are starting Jameis Winston. Look at the season he is having. 24 touchdowns, two picks. So I'm guessing that LASIK surgery really helped him out because uh, he is taking care of the ball a lot more. First and 10, Alvin Kamara with the carry, and he picks up nine yards. And this is the guy we're going to have to stop. Look at what he did last week. 17 for 159, two touchdowns. I mean, not only in the run game, the dude is amazing in the receiving game. And speaking of receiving game, here's Michael Thomas with the catch on the outside. He's going to be a, a bit of a mismatch. That is no doubt about it for our corners. Hopefully Fuller can follow him around and play a really good game. But here's a real strength for Kamar in open field. But Randy Gregory makes the stop. He's one of the hardest, I would not even say running backs, but just players to tackle in general. He breaks so many tackles. And we get a stop there, but third and seven, and Jameis finds his receiver. Catch up to the 22 for Harrison, a first down, and so far, Jameis is slinging the ball around. Over the middle of the field. Does that do a lineman? I believe a lineman just caught that pass for a first down. Wow, okay. That's interesting. First and ten. We bring a heat this time. Not going to just sit back, and Micah Parsons get through, gets through, and he picks up the sack. 
And now bringing up a third and eight. So let's see if we can hold him to a field goal here. As Jameis looking in the pocket. He's got all day to throw, but the coverage is good. Fires to the back of the end zone. Harris comes up with the grab. Gets the touchdown, but yeah, flag on the play. Oh, I like that too. I've never seen that either. I've never seen the player actually acknowledge uh, that they penalties against them. So DeAndre Harris, illegal touching, stepped out of bounds. First one to come back in and touch it. So there you go. We'll accept that penalty. It's a field goal. 3-0 ball game. And here comes our offense. First play, Michael Gallup. Nice job, 25 yards and a first down. Now, obviously with the C.D. Lamb thing, we're probably going to try to force it to him just a little bit more than we normally would. But normally he's, he's a very good receiver. He's been so productive this, this year. So I don't even know if we really have to force it to him. First and 10, play action after the first down run from Zeke. Fire to the outside, come back route. He has to catch is C.D. Lamb, and just like that, our offense is down to the 10-yard line. Our offense has been outstanding here the last four weeks. It's been so good, but on first and 10, and nobody blocked him at all. Just came right in there for the sack, so third down and goal from the 14. Just got to be careful with this. Don't want to force anything. We're just going to do the outside of C.D. Lamb. Hopefully he makes a uh, break, broke a tackle or something, but he cannot. He is brought down. So we'll settle for a field goal ourselves. 3-3 three, three the ball game here in this first quarter. And let's see how our defense can step up after that first drive where New Orleans just went down the field. Randy Gregory picks up a sack and makes this a third and 16. So going empty set. Jameis looking in the pocket. He's going to fire down the field. One-on-one -on -one for Thomas and Fuller. And it's knocked away incomplete. Nice coverage down the field. We've had so many problems with those this year. There's one-on-one -on -one catches down the field. It's just uh, not gone our way. But C.D. Lamb having a good one here, and he has the catch. Breaks off a tackle. Maybe picks up an extra maybe 15 yards. He's got 54 so far. So, so far so good for the 150 for C.D. Lamb. First and 10. Dak looking. End zone. C.D. Lamb, he had him, and he overthrew him. Man, that was a touchdown. So... Not a touchdown. Now second and ten. Far to the outside. And that's Amari Cooper. Nice job hanging on to the ball. He is definitely uh, very consistent every game. Last week went off. And he has been outstanding this entire season. As on second and six. Here comes the heat. Dak's going to get out of the pocket. He's going to fire to C.D. Lamb who has the catch. And he's down to the three. So that's a first down. But great job by Dak getting out of that. That was... Uh, Big time blitz coming. Now first and goal from the three. Can we put this into the end zone? And we will slant to C.D. Lamb, and he's in for the score. So at least we got one touchdown with him. So whatever the bonus is, if we get the 150, we will have it. So that is cool to see. There we go. Touchdown lead 10-3, to three, and we're back at it here as now that is going to be caught. And somehow it got around and got the first down. I don't even know how that was possible. I thought we had a defender there, but he just missed him. First and 10, wide open underneath. That's another catch, another first down up to the 49-yard line. And you know what? I don't see Alvin Kamara. He is not in the ball game, And he hasn't been in that ball game since he caught that pass earlier. As on first and 10, Demarcus Lawrence gets in there for another sack. Another guy having a really good season for this defense, which has been a lot better. But, yeah, Kamara's still not in the game. So I'm wondering... As Winston rolling out on second and 19, and he's going to slide down and pick up about 17 yards there and get this to a third and short. I'm wondering if they kind of have that uh, stamina glitch that's been going on. Uh, if the guys are a little bit tired coming into the ball game, they get a few carries, and that is it. They're just gone. They don't come back. So I'm guessing that happened to them, and that's going to really hurt them. I mean, he is a big... He's the biggest piece probably of this offense. Second and nine, Jameis overthrows his receiver. Fuller's in the back of the end zone and picks this one off. We'll take that one all day. And look at that. A, a CPU quarterback makes a bad throw? Wow. This, I'm seeing some stuff in this ballgame I haven't seen in a long time. We'll take the pick. We'll take it over. And that allowed them not to get the field goal. But now Dalton Schultz gets hurt on that non-run there really from... Uh, Zeke, who so far it's just not been really going our way. Oh, man. I had Zeke probably open, but decided to go to CeeDee Lamb. who catches it, and he's just short, too, and it's a dislocated shoulder for Dalton Schultz. So he's done for the game. But, yeah, that one should have been thrown to 
Zeke, but I'm just zoning in so much on C.D. Lamb. But still, I can't believe it was short. Didn't give us four progression. But on third and 11, doesn't matter. The defense coming through again. Gets the stop. We still got a 10-3 ball game here in this second quarter with just three minutes left. So going to the outside, that's going to be caught. That's Jarwin with the catch, and now he's going to step in and get some more time. First down, and we're up to the 38-yard line. Just a four-man rush. Dak firing in the pocket, and he finds Amari Cooper open, and he's way down the field, down to the 24-yard line. First down. There we go. We got this combo working. C.D. Lamb, Amari Cooper, and now Zeke. Yeah, it's the, their run defense has been really good. Third and two. See if we can get it here. We're going to go back to the run. Up the middle and just enough as Zeke gets through for the first down. You can see nine carries, 35 yards. And one of the carries is around 10, 11 yards. So not good so far, but still just enough to work. And then we can try to play action off of it. But watch out. We try a play action scream. And somehow Dak gets away from it. And he's going to dump it off to Gallup. But there is a flag on the play. And I think this is going to be a legal man downfield because it took forever. Man, that was a weird play. Weird play. Luckily, we didn't just turn it over. So first and 15 now, dropping us back to the 17-yard line as Dak in a fire tries to find Gallup, but he overthrows him, and it's picked off. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson right there in perfect positioning, gets the pick, and now I believe for that goal we can't turn the ball over again. That's it. But still, no points out of it, and this is still a 10-3 ball game as Jameis takes this himself, takes the hit from Parsons, and they'll call a timeout here with 36 seconds left here in this first half. This is a weird game. I feel like we're playing well, but we only have a 10-3 score. That's going up top! Fuller's going to knock it away from Smith. Nice job. Great job knocking that out of his hands. Because that would have been a New Orleans field goal for sure. As Jameis firing. And this one's going to be caught out of the backfield. And down to the 37-yard line. So they're going to go down the field here and now call a timeout. And that's going to bring Will Lutz on for the field goal attempt. This one from 54 is going to hit off the crossbar. No good. And we had it at halftime with the score of 10 to 3. Like I said just a minute ago, this is it's kind of a weird game. I feel like both teams are playing, you know, decently, not too bad. Just no score to really come of it. It's just really nothing going on. Each team is like faltering in the red zone, no doubt about it. As we're the first game this week, Giants go to Miami. You got Washington going to Vegas. And then you have the Eagles going to the Jets. So right now, Washington's the, in the spot that they need victories badly. Uh, we'll take them on two out of three times in the next few weeks. As this is a great start to the second half. Finding C.D. Lamb. And he's up to the 39-yard line. So now he's at 107 yards. He's getting close to 150. But yeah, the Giants are right behind us. They have a nice win streak going. Eagles... Close, but man, that Giants team is right there. This is one of the better runs of the game as Pollard gets 13 yards. And we're down to the 26-yard line trying to put this up to a two-possession ball game here to start off this second half. Second and 10. On the play action, Blitz brought. He fires it, and Amari Cooper comes down with the grab. Fantastic catch. Nice pass by Dak and pressure. And in first and goal, we'll put this one in and up to a 17 Three ball game, another touchdown for Zeke on the season. He is having one heck of a season. And now, with this 14-point uh, lead, let's see what this defense can do. Can we get a quick stop? First and 10. Fire to the outside. This is going to be caught and got room to the outside. And he'll get up to around the 47-yard line. So 22 yards just like that. And this New Orleans team not going away yet. We'll see. Second and nine. Wide open underneath. Man, what happened to the coverage there? Up to the 40-yard line, another first down. As they're moving the ball here up to the 34-yard line. Quick pass, all oh, Vander Esch. That should have been a pick. That should have been intercepted. Third and four. Over the middle. That's going to be caught. And that is going to be another first down to the 18 when we should have had an interception. Man. From the 18, another catch, another first down down to the 6. So New Orleans trying to answer back with a touchdown of her own. So can our defense hold in the 3? We've done very well this whole entire season, but we're not going to do it here. They just run it right into the end zone, and New Orleans just comes right back at us. 
gets the touchdown and puts this back to a seven-point ball game, 17-10. Man, nice answer from New Orleans because did not expect that. So now both teams are answering as Dak's going to go down. Tuttle came right in there, and man, for the sack, and now it's going to knock us back to a third and 20. New Orleans getting the momentum on their side, trying to get it back. Third and 20, Dak going to fire down the field. Open is C.D. Lamb. He has the catch, and nobody is going to get him. Touchdown. There's your 150. Puts him now 192, two touchdowns. So we're going to get whatever the uh, upgrade is. I don't know what it's going to be, but we got it. Man, wide open. We almost had a natural, I think it was, you know, it's almost like a pick, but a natural rub on that route. Amari Cooper knocked the corner away. Just enough protection to let Dak see him down the field. Touchdown, finally. I mean, that we, we haven't had a lot of those big plays, but there you go. Big time play, and then the defense gets a quick three and out. Neville Gallimore with the stop. And now the offense, we have a chance here. Let's see if we can run this ball. Waste a little bit of clock, maybe get another touchdown and put this game up to a three-score ball game. But third and inches, we go to Zeke on the ground, and he's got the first down, picks up three yards, and clock continues to roll. So 49 seconds left in this third quarter, second and 10. Just a four-man rush once again. Is Dak looking, looking, and he's going to get out of the pocket and just throw this one, one away. Nobody really open there. Pressure coming as well. Third and ten. Once again, just a four-man rush as he's standing in the pocket, looking over the middle of the field, and this one's going to be picked off. Oh, man. I thought that was going to be an easy completion. Now Williams goes down as well. Man. So that goal is gone. We missed out on that one as we turn the ball over now twice. As, oh, man, Jalen Smith comes right in there, makes a hit, but yeah. Oh, broken ribs for Williams. Man, our offensive line is just getting hammered in the in this season. These last few weeks, we're going to have some issues. Second and ten, Jameis looking, firing open over the middle of the field. Going to be caught first down out of the 21. As our mistake has now kept them in this ball game because now they're trying to answer back and get this back to a seven-point game. Second and six from the 18. As we move into the fourth quarter, Jameis underneath. Was that caught? And it was. Oh, jeez. I don't know how that was caught. Somehow held on to. And now third and inches. Can we get a sack? Jameis going to fire the back of the end zone. It's going to be brought down, and it's going to be a touchdown. Somehow brings it down as Troutman, and there you go. New Orleans takes advantage of the turnover. 24-17 game. Big day from CeeDee Lamb, but this game is still a one possession ball game. So that big day not mattering at the moment. Second and six going over the middle of field. Oh, man, that was a pretty dangerous throw <laughs> with a couple guys there, but it works. CeeDee Lamb, another catch, another first down up to the 44-yard line. First and ten. Hand off to Zeke. Has a good carry. Breaks a tackle, and he's up to around the 47-yard line. First and ten now from the 45 Play action, Dak looking down the field. He's going to fire, and he has his man, Amari Cooper, who he's having a very good game as well. A lot of big-time grabs. He's down to the 19-yard line, first down, and see if he can put this back up to a two-possession ball game. Six minutes left here, first and ten, hand off to Dak, a hand off to Zeke, up the middle. But now Amari Cooper is a bit shaken up, and he's heading to the locker room. That is not what you want to see. No good. Hopefully it's just an out-of-the-game thing. Second and six. Dak rolling out. Firing. C.D. Lamb's got it for the touchdown. His third of the ball game. He wanted to show that he's a primetime receiver. He wanted to show that he's right up there with Amari Cooper. And he is showing it here today. And he's showed it this entire season as it's an abdominal tear for Amari Cooper. Well, here you go, C.D. Lamb, because that abdominal tear, I think, is at least a three- to five-week injury depending we'll see so we're gonna have some uh guys gonna have to step up for receiver as neville gallimore his fantastic season continues another sack so third and 15 Jameis looking fires it's gonna be incomplete pass intended for washington and they gotta go for it with 515 left fourth and 15 Jameis looking firing up top malik hooker is gonna pick this one off see if he has some room to run gets a nice block 
He's going to be just tripped up at the 42-yard line, but we'll get the pick. And now we can almost put this game away, up two scores with 425 left. Get one more score, it's probably over. As Zeke with the carry, he picks up 12. And he's up to 84 yards now, so... You know, not averaging a, a ton, just, I guess, consistently getting three to four yards a carry with an occasional good carry here and there. But on second and eight, screen pass works out perfectly. Touchdown, Zeke. And that's pretty much, I'd say, put this game away. With three minutes left, you have no doubt about it. 38-17 with 3.01 left in the game. I think that's about it. But New Orleans going to try to get something going here, try to get back in the ballgame quick, but it's not going to happen. Micah Parsons lays out. Jameis, fumble, recovers it, runs it in for the touchdown all himself. What a game. He had the sack earlier, now forced fumble, fumble recovery touchdown. 45-17 game just like that. And then he comes back again, forces another fumble, gets another fumble recovery. What a game for Micah Parsons. And that game, that's obviously going to do it. 45-17. Man, this game was in a snap. It was, what? It was a one-possession ball game. It was 24-17 in this quarter. And then just like that, bam, 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 touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. It just went crazy. And it ends up a 45-17 game. So the score looks like a blowout, but in reality, this was a pretty... Highly contested game, I'd have to say. New Orleans did not go away. Dak, even though the two turnovers, that second pick, I'm still a little... I can't believe that DB got that. But 391, four touchdowns. Zeke had 86 yards rushing, averaged four a carry. No broken tackles this game. That's what I'm saying. They just really were, were very good at tackling. CeeDee Lamb, 10 catches, 122, 222, three touchdowns. Amari Cooper had over 100, and now with Cooper out, Obviously, Gallup, he's had a solid season. He's going to have to step up. Cedric Wilson's going to have to step up. We might have to bring on somebody from a practice squad because I, th I think we're only carrying like four receivers at the moment. Malik Hooker, Fuller with the pick, but man, Micah Parsons. What a game. What, seven total tackles, two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, uh, touchdown, sack. What a, what a game he had. Fantastic game. So, C.D. Lamb, let's see what this is. Our talk played a big part in what I was able to do this week. Huge game. He's having a great season. Yeah, knew that kind of performance was in you. No doubt about it. I mean, he's done these type of performances all season. So, career day earned plus five in catching traffic and release. That is awesome. I wonder if that's permanent. If that's permanent. That's fantastic. Um, hopefully, it's not just kind of like a little thing. But, if, yeah, that's permanent. That's a great upgrade. As for uh, this other one, yeah, we didn't get it. We turned the ball over twice. Didn't go to court and play, but we still got the job done. That's all that matters. Win's a win. Everybody gets 1,000 XP, so that is cool. At least we could still get something out of them. But Amari Cooper is going to be out for four weeks. That's a huge injury. That's big. Connor Williams, he's out for five. Man, our, no Lyle Collins, no Connor Williams, our offensive line. And now we lose Amari Cooper. Man, I know. See, it's just everything works around. So... Fioko, we're going to, I believe, I don't, I mean, that's not how you pronounce his name. I'm sorry about that. But we're going to sign him for the practice squad. We got Cedric Wilson, Gallup, and we still got solid receivers. I'm just hoping that Mari Cooper wasn't the key to all this. And guys kind of struggle a little bit. I'm hoping we're not in a little bit of trouble there. And obviously, offensive line, that is big. So we're 9 3. We won five straight. Giants win again. They've won four straight. They're 8 4. They're right behind us. Philadelphia lost. They lost three in a row. They're dropping to six and seven. And now we take on Washington. Two out of the next three games with the Giants in between. So that's, we got some interesting games coming up. This is going to be a big one. Look at all the stuff we got on the side here for next week. Calling it quits. Offensive breakout. Breakout player. I mean, we got a lot of stuff in the next episode. So that is going to be interesting. And especially interesting taking on a division rival in Washington, which baby. Their season's probably on the line, no doubt about it. You can't go to 5-8, and eight, you're probably done. But that's going to be a good one. Thank you guys for watching, as that's going to do for this one. You guys are awesome. Thank you for so much, all the support. Thank you so much. And if you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.